Hey folks, how's it going? It is Royal Shrimper bringing you some more Medal of Honor 2010 gameplay and I have a pretty interesting development here for you guys. Uh, I recently read, uh, recently being yesterday, that it has been confirmed by one of, um, what is it, what are their names, uh, Splash Damage? Um, no, Danger Close. By Danger Close's CEO, or something like that, that uh, Medal of Honor 2 um, is actually currently in production and is going to be released, what is it, next October? Um, so that's actually pretty cool. The name of the game, uh, they already have that. It's called Medal of Honor Warfighter. And it's supposedly going to be based on the same, um, same kind of thing, same uh, storyline. Uh, it's supposed to represent a real life soldier from today, not like in the future, in the past, or anything like from today, today, with today's problems in the world. And uh, they're going to be working in collaboration with DICE, and they're going to be using DICE's Frostbite 2 engine. What does that mean? I don't actually know. Um, we can go over this, though. Uh, so Frostbite 2, I mean, you guys all probably know Battlefield 3, and uh, that is Frostbite 2. So are they talking about destructible environments? I mean, you can see here, this is Frost Frostbite 1.5, or pretty much just Frostbite 1. And, uh, I mean, there's not really destructible environments, but they still have, like, you can uh, shoot down a fence uh, when there's a grenade, you know, rocks come up and make it look a little bit more realistic, and then there might be a little indent in the ground, but there's still no real destructible environments. So, my, I guess, I'm wondering what's going to happen is, are they going to have destructible environments? I mean, that's not really the Medal of Honor game type. I hope they don't do that. Um, and that brings me to my next point, uh, my wish list for Medal of Honor Warfighter. So, my first thing on the wish list is more guns. This game here, it had like your standard guns. It had the saw, the RPK, the AK, the AK-74U, and then it had like a sniper, um, and a shotgun, and it had pretty much every range of weapon, but only had like one or two in each. Uh, the submachine guns had a little bit more, there was a couple um, in there. And uh, the, the the variation in guns is really not that big. I mean, I can understand this this game for here was a reboot, and so they were going pretty cautious and stuff. But uh, please, please, please put in um, more weapons, more choices. And following up to that, please, please, please also put in more attachments. Uh, for every gun in this game, you can only put in a silencer, a scope, and just carry around some extra magazines. Not extended mags, just carry around extra magazines or have open tip ammo or like a hollow point rounds, which uh, if you guys don't know what hollow point does is the rounds are in the tip, they are actually hollow. And so what they do is is when they um, hit somebody, they're supposed to fragment and, well, if they fragment inside your body, that's a bad thing because then you're pretty much screwed and need to have surgery, etc. So that's the point of hollow point rounds. Um, but that, those are the only attachments that this is the game. Silencers, uh, ACOG or hollow sight, and more ammo and hollow points. So I really hope they bring stuff like maybe uh, grips, because you can see here on the guns they have grips, but that's not an attachment, so maybe grip. Um, oh yeah, and laser, laser sights was also one, or uh, laser pointer. Uh, bring back the laser pointer, maybe a bigger scope variation, maybe not only hollow, maybe a red dot sight. Um, and maybe go with Battlefield 3 craziness and add a 12 times scope because that would be fairly interesting. Uh, let's see what else. Um, so yeah, maybe, like I said, more guns. Uh, I want them to keep the sounds because as you guys saw in my previous video or heard, uh, I actually talked about the sound and compared it kind of Call of Duty and Battlefield and I know all those games everyone always says they're completely different, but no, they're using the same guns so why shouldn't the sounds be the same or be more realistic? Uh, they need to keep the killstreak setup and how it works in here. I don't want customizable killstreaks. I like how they are, I like how they're set up, and I don't want them to use stuff like choppers, etc. I want them to keep this mortars, howitzers, rockets, call down like predator missile kind of stuff. It makes the it makes for a more interesting gameplay since you can get airstrike at any moment, anywhere, it's faster gameplay, and it's just all around, it's more fun. And I also want them to keep that setup that you can choose if you want to support or if you want to kill. Uh, because that it kind of is on the fly. If you're kind of the lone wolf, you might want to try the uh, support instead. And if you're, well, if you're kind of hanging back with a sniper rifle, you might want to go with that uh, assault. And then, yeah. So, what else? Um, oh, yeah, maybe some character customization so you can change your, uh, change your looks around. Um, that would actually be pretty cool. And 
Um, one other thing, maybe put in more vehicles. This um, this map here doesn't have any vehicles, but there are one or two maps in this game where you actually had vehicles. It was the um, what is it like the BTR or whatever? It had like the, it's the troops, it's the troop transport with like the I, oh I don't want to say any misinformation here, but with the like a gun on top. It's um, the troop, troop transport that has like the rotating turret. I really don't know the name. I haven't looked it up. I should probably do that though. Um, I hope they bring more vehicles. I'm not saying they should do something like Battlefield 3. I'm just saying maybe they should bring, like in the campaign, an ATV. Because that would actually be pretty cool. What would you guys think? Leave in the comments. What would you guys think? Would an ATV be cool? You can just ride around it. You can have maybe one person on the back who's shooting. They can rotate in any direction. But you can just ride around on an ATV. So it's like... It, it would make for interesting gameplay because if you have a map like this, maybe they would have to make the maps a little bit bigger, but uh, if they have a map like this, you could just ride around and capture the points really easily um, on your ATV, and uh, that would be pretty cool. Oh, and uh, one other thing, uh, increase the, what is it, or like decrease the accuracy. I mean, you can see here, I am with this RPG almost as accurate or more accurate than that sniper, and same with the scopes. They need to decrease the accuracy. I mean, that RPG is going straight. And in real life, I don't even care about... Okay, let's not compare real life. I just don't want the RPG to do that. Um, because it's not... I don't know. It's, it's just not the RPG way. Um, so, yeah, they need to... Oh, yeah, up my sensitivity here because I was uh, getting sort of annoyed. Because I play on 10 with on Call of Duty and on Battlefield. I play on the maximum, so I'm kind of used to that. But, uh, like I said, they need to make it so that the RPG isn't spot on like a sniper. And um, then the other thing, they need to make explosives more powerful. And a uh, change that you can choose explosives. For instance, the assault class um, can only use smoke grenades and noob tubes. They don't have uh, actual, like, grenades. So they need to increase uh, RPG and grenade damage and let you choose your um, stuff. So anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this commentary. It's sort of my wish list for Medal of Honor Warfighter. Uh, you guys can check out, I'll post the link to one of the uh, postings in the description. My name is Royal Shrimp, and I am out.